Have you ever heard of the legendary city of Babylon? Babylon was an ancient city in Mesopotamia, known for its massive walls, the iconic Ishtar Gate, and the legendary ziggurat of Etemi Nanki. It was bisected by the Euphrates River and boasted the famous, albeit controversial, Hanging Gardens. Babylon served as a bustling commercial center, housed royal palaces, used clay bricks in its constructions, and was a significant hub for cuneiform writing. Additionally, it is famous for the Code of Hammurabi, one of the earliest known legal codes. Overall, Babylon played a vital role in the history of ancient civilization and is remembered for its impressive architecture and cultural influence. But what was the Babylonian Empire like? Before we dive in, please subscribe and hit the notification bell to receive new episodes. Babylon was located near the banks of the Euphrates River, in what is now modern-day Iraq. Due to the passage of many caravans from different peoples through the region, the city began to absorb various religious, social, and cultural influences, causing it to grow in size and power. The city was intersected by several water channels that served the population's needs. It is believed that at its zenith, Babylon was the largest city in the world. There, the famous Hanging Gardens stood, considered one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. With the flourishing of its economy, the Babylonians began constructing intricately detailed statues, temples, and monuments. The government of Babylon was led by nobles from different families and religious leaders. The origin of the name Babylon is an adaptation from Greek derived from the original Babylu in the Akkadian language which would translate to Gate of the Gods. With the rise of King Hammurabi to the throne, the city gained even more importance. Hammurabi, the sixth king of the Amorite dynasty, expanded Babylonian territory by conquering important Mesopotamian cities, including Assur and Nineveh. This resulted in the formation of the first Babylonian Empire, known as the Old Babylonian Empire. Hammurabi is also famous for creating the Code of Hammurabi, a set of laws and rules of conduct that established proportional punishments for crimes committed, following the principle of an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. In terms of military, the Babylonians improved their forces with well-crafted armor and helmets fitted to the soldiers. However, the empire of Hammurabi did not last long, collapsing after his death in 1750 BC, which was typical after the death of a ruler. During this turbulent period in Mesopotamia, Babylon was sacked by the Hittites and later ruled by the Elamites. The city of Assur, under Babylonian rule, belonged to the Assyrians, known for their ferocity in battle. They were famous for using archers, disciplined infantry, siege weapons, and formidable cavalry. With the fall of Hammurabi's empire, the Assyrians conquered Babylon, expanding their lands even to Egypt. These conquests marked the beginning of the Iron Age. The Neo-Assyrian Empire, the largest empire in territorial extent up to that point, even surpassed the Empire of Sargon, with its capital in Nineveh, which was fortified to protect against potential enemy attacks. The last great Assyrian king was Ashurbanipal. He is famous for organizing the renowned Library of Nineveh, which housed up to 22,000 clay tablets with cuneiform writing. Thanks to these tablets, we now have extensive knowledge about the peoples of the time. However, Ashurbanipal's reign was not peaceful. His brother, who ruled in the city of Babylon, revolted against him and allied with Babylonian nobles. This led Ashurbanipal to declare war against his own brother, besieging Babylon. When his brother realized he had no chance of survival, he set fire to his own palace, dying in the blaze. Ashurbanipal also attacked the Elamite kingdom, looting their capital, temples, and tombs, and executing all Elamite princes, effectively extinguishing the ancient kingdom. Ashurbanipal died in 1627 BC after a 58-year reign. His sons tried to maintain control of the empire, but power began to decline. Pharaoh Necho II of Egypt reclaimed the Egyptian lands that were under Assyrian control. In Mesopotamia, Power was divided between the Chaldeans and the Medes. 
Nabopolassar, a Chaldean noble, seized control of Babylon, taking advantage of the power vacuum. He conquered several cities, consolidating his rule, and established the Second Babylonian Empire, also known as the Neo-Babylonian Empire, with Babylon as its capital. Nabopolassar died in 605 BC and was succeeded by his son, Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar was a powerful king who rebuilt Babylon and constructed the famous Hanging Gardens. He improved the water canal systems and built the Temple of Esagila, dedicated to the god Marduk. Under his reign, ziggurats, large pyramidal temples originally created by the Sumerians, were enhanced. The most famous of them was the ziggurat of Etemenanki, believed to have been the inspiration for the Tower of Babel. Unfortunately, this ziggurat was destroyed by Alexander the Great. The Neo-Babylonian Empire reached its peak in terms of territory and trade agreements. The city of Babylon was renowned for its wealth and power, a glory immortalized by ancient authors such as Herodotus. However, Nebuchadnezzar didn't stop there. He continued to seek new lands to conquer. In the vicinity of the Mediterranean Sea lay the kingdoms of Israel and Judah. Nebuchadnezzar conquered the kingdom of Judah seemingly with ease, taking Jerusalem, which was then the capital of the Jewish people. The king of Judah, Jehoiakim, was taken as a prisoner to Babylon, along with many nobles and a large number of citizens of Jerusalem, especially those with specific skills such as blacksmiths, stonemasons, and painters. Among the captives was the biblical prophet Daniel, who was part of Judah's nobility and became an advisor to Nebuchadnezzar. He interpreted the king's dreams and earned respect in the royal court. Nebuchadnezzar left Jehoiakim's uncle in charge of Jerusalem and continued to conquer the lands of the kingdom of Israel, which, in turn, was more powerful than the kingdom of Judah. Due to the proximity of Judah and Israel to Egypt, there was division among the population, with some supporting an alliance with the Egyptians and others supporting the Babylonians. This led to a rebellion in Jerusalem, supported by the Egyptians, which enraged Nebuchadnezzar. He besieged Jerusalem, and before the Egyptians could intervene, the city faced a harsh retaliation, with its walls destroyed and its temples and palaces looted. Zedekiah, also known as Mataniah, was the last king of Judah. He was captured, blinded, and imprisoned for the rest of his life. Once again, a large number of prisoners were taken as slaves to Babylon, marking this period in Jewish history as the Babylonian captivity. Nebuchadnezzar still waged war against the Egyptians in the 30th year of his reign, but at over 60 years of age, he suffered from a mental illness described as lycanthropy, in which he exhibited wild and uncontrollable behavior. Reports claim he fled Babylon and was found on a hill near the city, chewing grass like an ox. However, Nebuchadnezzar recovered from his madness and died at the age of 72. His successors did not reign for long, as they were assassinated, including his eldest son. This marked the end of the Babylonian dynasty. Babylon would later be conquered by Cyrus the Great, the king of Persia. Interestingly, when Cyrus entered the city of Babylon, he was welcomed as a liberator by the people who had been oppressed under the rule of Nabonidus, known for his peculiar reign as one of the last Babylonian monarchs before the conquest of Babylon. The great Babylonian empire had come to an end, but its legacy left deep marks on the peoples of Mesopotamia, with its influence enduring over the centuries. The Babylonian empire represents one of the most fascinating and influential ancient civilizations in human history. With its spectacular capital in Babylon and remarkable kings such as Hammurabi, Nebuchadnezzar II, and Nabonidus, Babylon left an indelible mark on the architecture, religion, laws, and culture of the ancient Middle East. Its legacy includes the creation of the famous Code of Hammurabi, one of the earliest codified legal systems, as well as the construction of incredible architectural structures like ziggurats and the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. Babylonian religion also played a significant role, with gods like Marduk and Sin being venerated in impressive temples. However, Babylon also experienced highs and lows, with periods of expansion and dominion, followed by decline and invasions by neighboring empires. The final conquest by the Persians marked the end of the Babylonian Empire, but its legacy continued to influence later cultures and remains studied and admired to this day. 
Therefore, in exploring the history of Babylon, we not only learn about an incredible ancient civilization, but also about how advances in architecture, law, religion, and culture can shape the fate of a nation and inspire future generations. We hope you've enjoyed this journey through the history of the Babylonian Empire. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video if you want to see more fascinating content about the history of ancient civilizations. Until next time.